all you beautiful people out there, what is going on? This is your friend Brittick, coming at you fast with another Paragon In-Depth Hero Guide. And today we are going to be talking about one of my favorite, if not my favorite jungler, the Killer Queen Kalari, the Triple K. That's kind of bad. I mean the Double K with the Q at the end. Killer Queen Kal The Q's in the... Okay, okay, never mind. But... This is a hero guide, it is in depth, and I think I nailed it this time, guys. We did Gideon, we did Grux, that was a warm-up round. This video is for realsies. We're gonna go super in depth, we're gonna go early strat, which is from 0 to 10 to 15 minutes in the game. Then we're gonna go 15 to 25, and then we're gonna go 25 to late, late game. So we're gonna go early, mid, and late. And we're gonna be talking about Kalari's build, how to build her, how to play her, what ability slot, and everything like that. You guys know the drill. So to start off, Kalari is an assassin jungler. She has one durability, but has a ability power of nine, which is absolutely insane. She does a devastating amount of damage, but she's also the squishiest jungler, which is why it is very crucial, as you guys can see what I'm doing right here, it is very crucial to get somebody to leash red for you. Basically, draw the attention of red and deal some damage to red buff so you can kill him as a level one and get that damage bonus and movement speed bonus per hit right in the beginning of the game. It's going to accelerate your clearance of the jungle. It's going to put you ahead in levels above everybody else, and it's going to be super, super duper important. Now, I want to pay. I want to make you guys see that we're going to be jumping around through the video a lot. So just try and pay attention to what I'm trying to say. Everything I'm going to say is going to be rel relative to the video clips and also a little bit not. So this guy helps me very, very well to get the red buff. And what I'm going to do right now is I'm going to clear this side of the jungle and I'm looking at the clock right now. I have one minute until it's three minutes total. At three minutes, that's when harvesters spawn. You want to make sure that at the start of the game, you get a mana potion, a health potion, and a harvester key. That's your starting loadout. If you want to see the deck specifically, you guys can go ahead and check out my beast build guide for Kalari. But right now, all we need is the health potion, the mana potion, and the harvester key. Because we're going to be clearing this side of the jungle. And at three minutes, we're going to go back, plant the harvester, recall, and then we'll go from there. Now, a little bit about Kalari. She only has two attacks that deal damage. Her dagger right there that she throws, the blood dagger, and her ultimate which is a, a little bit of a lunge forward, not too far of a distance, but it does an immense amount of damage, an intense amount of damage, a crazy motherfucking amount of damage, and it cuts through a lot of multiple people. And the way we're going to be building Kalari is we're going to stack the hell out of her damage. We're going to make her the best assassin ever. We're going to make her one shot, two shot, three shot, anything in any tanks by building up physical damage, and a little bit of armor penetration. So you guys see me right here. I'm going to recall. Now I recommend starting the recall process as soon as you stand on the plate. I kind of lost some time there. I was contemplating whether to go help people gank. But never mind. I went back and grabbed the adamant edge. So we're stacking damage and a little bit of health so we're not too squishy. Uh, when we go back into the fight. Now you guys see me running back to the other side to plant the other harvester and clear this side of the jungle too. You want to do this process every single time because it is the most effective way to get XP in the beginning in the early games. Now Kalari is pretty pretty amazing when you stack the adamant edge with the damage and the health. It's pretty helpful. Especially when you slot her like so. The very first point you want to put in is obviously blood, blood dagger, not blood dagger. What the fuck is a blood dagger? You want to put in a blood dagger and to uh, obviously deal more damage to red and blue buff. You want to go shadow walk next, then the double jump, then another shadow dagger or blood dagger, my bad. And just go on from there. Every time you have a chance to upgrade Blood Dagger, do it. And right here you see me actually gank middle and successfully do it. I noticed that she was out of position while I was running around in jungle farming up the minions. So I decided, hey, might as well go get that easy kill. Why not? Some more XP for me. It's really hard to gank with Kalari in early games. Especially without her ult. Because her ult is what does the majority of the damage. So if you can find somebody like Sparrow who doesn't have a getaway. Who has overextended a lot. You can actually get behind him very well. So we fast forward a little bit after killing some stuff in the jungle. And I see right lane, there are a couple people that are weak on health. So I'm going to go invisible so they do not see me. And I am going to get an awesome MLG trick shot, headshot throwing knife 
on motherfucking Grux over there trying to teleport away and actually help Rampage kill this Gideon as well, so I get a kill and an assist out of it, looking good on XP right off the bat. Then, go back into the jungle, kill some more minions, and if you see a lane like this open up, feel free to push it a little bit. Kalari is not the best at pushing lanes at all, but if you see the advantage, then do it. After that, I'm gonna run back, go back to the Harvester, and teleport. You wanna spend 80% of your time at least in the jungle, running around, collecting Harvesters, killing minions, and whatnot. So after we come back, we just upgraded our Adamant Edge with more damage, just damage, no health. We're going to come back and actually hit this red buff right here, grab this red buff, and we're going to continue on killing stuff in the jungle. Just rinse and repeat, just keep doing it. Every single time you respawn back, you upgrade your stuff, go back into the jungle, whichever side you want, collect the harvester that's on your side first, then get the buff that's on that side, and then kill as many minion waves as you want. I decide to skip the minion waves though, because I noticed somebody on the left side super duper pushed up. So I'm going to ignore the minions and just straight out sprint at them like I'm fucking, like I'm, I'm just running, I'm running away from the cops, like I just stole a TV. And motherfucker, I get behind Grux and he doesn't know what to do, he panics, he uses his ult, but he cannot kill me, because Kalari is the killing queen, like we said. If you need to catch up to somebody, you can do a double flip like that. You actually get a little bit of a, a distance bonus rather than just moving and also when you go invisible you get uh, bonus movement speed with that as well. Now that I killed Grux, I'm going to clear these minions so they don't push up too far. And I'm going to go back into the mighty jungle where Kalari kills shit all night. Apologies for my awful singing. Now we're going to kill these guys and right here I'm close to middle lane and I see a big team fight. So I want a piece of that obviously. Now I'm aiming for the person with the lowest amount of health, the person who is farthest away from the battle, that's Gideon. I kill him very quickly, and then I ult the hell out of Grux, manage to finish him off with a simple attack. Actually, I get my kill stolen by Mother Truck over there. Then this tank comes over here, still trying to kill me. Fang Mao kills him as well. I break out of invisibility on, ac on accident, I panic, and then I get killed. This is my only death of the game. So next, when you recall, you actually want to change your Harvester Key into another Health Potion if you have one. That's right, you can actually have two Health Potions because you have the two Harvesters that you need at the top and just go back into the jungle, hit blue buff again, and again, if you see an open lane like I saw right here, push up as much as you can, and then if you see somebody coming at you, then just back off. Kalari's not too good at one-on-one -on -one fights. You want to catch people off guard when you're playing with Kalari. Get behind them, stun them, have them dazed, and use your ult. Just get a quick two-shot kill in with Kalari. She is absolutely de deadly in later in the game. And in late game, end game especially, she can just two-shot pretty much anything. Especially when she gets her armor penetration up. Now, I get into a little bit of a confrontation here. I'm going to show you guys how to evade confrontations with Kalari. I'm thinking one-on-one, -on -one, okay, that's fine. But to get out of there, I'm going to double flip and go invisible in midair so they can't see where I land. And I'm going to stay invisible and scope out the situation and see which way they're facing, which way they're going, so I have enough time to position myself for the best getaway strat. I saw that Grux was behind me, Steel was in front of me, so I went in between and sprinted my way out of there. You can start activating sprint while invisible and you won't break invisibility until you actually start sprinting and that's very useful. One thing to note however is you do make a crazy noise like a like a haunted ghost like you're a motherfucking like boo from from Mario or some shit like a and people can actually hear it and sound for it. So you know, you're not 100% invisible, people can still hear you. And now there's this big crazy confrontation in the middle, just down here in this little pit. I have no fucking clue what's going on. I thought I ultied somebody, I didn't ulti anybody. Just fucking big ass over here, Rampage, getting his shit pushed in by Fang Mao and I. And, I mean, <laughs> this game is definitely not as dry as an old man's ball sack. It is as hot as a savanna in the middle of a desert. I don't know what the fuck I'm trying to say. Let's just keep going with the video. Enough of me trying to be funny. So, 
Now that we recalled back after that big confrontation, after killing some more stuff in the jungle, it's time to move on and spend our 12 points. We're going to get actually another Adamant Edge, but this time we're going to fill it up with two point strikes. We're going to fill it up all the way because we want to get that damage bonus as quick as possible. And now this puts us at an advantage over our opponents because of that damage bonus. Now we'll be able to gank even more. Back to getting red buff. Red buff is very useful. I see an open lane, so I'm going to push it, but I actually saw Rampage back here go to this well so i'm gonna go ahead and catch him by surprise stun him because he's in sprint mode obviously just chilling at a well i would be too and then he goes big as a panic mode but i have a lot of damage and he doesn't do much damage and i have red buff so i'm gonna stick through it that's another thing with kalari is you can easily judge situations and you can go up against tanks that is the only kind of enemy that you can actually go up against 1v1 and not die if you go up against gideon 1v1 you'll just get dark hold and absolutely destroyed if you go up against i don't know a fang mao or something you'll probably get destroyed if you go up against grux you might get destroyed until later game but if you go up against a the tank they can't do enough damage and by the time they're hitting you and swiping you you're recharging all of your abilities your ult and your blood dagger and you're able to finish them off just like i do right there for an easy kill going back into the jungle again just switching sides left right left right left right get the harvesters get the red buff get the harvester get the blue buff killing all the minions like this guy's doing kind of following your main goal as a jungler as Kalari especially is you always want to be at least one level above the highest person on the other team or at least the majority of the other team because that's how you're going to get the advantage on damage now here comes Grux he pops his ult but I'm just gonna ulti him and absolutely decimate him with less than half health left then here comes Steel Fang Mao and I were gonna double team him and everything so pretty much if you cannot kill them with your blood dagger your ultimate and a couple of basic hits then get out of there if you see more than one person that and they're both paying attention to you get out of there double flip out of there and invis double flip out of there and invis okay every single time if you see a one-on-one -on -one fight where you know they're not going to deal too much damage to you then you're good now after that we're going to go over here and we're going to slot armor penetration and damage and we're going to fill that up all the way with damage as well we're just doing nothing but damage baby nothing but damage all the other little effects from those cards help out a bit but we're doing nothing but damage so again come behind these guys absolutely shrek him he was at 70 percent that time when i ulted and i still managed to kill him that is the power of Kalari, one-on-one -on -one total decimation Shrek Nation, okay? So, there we go, nice, clean, two easy kills, and we're back at it. Now we're pushing middle lane because we can push up and get their inhibitor. And the nice thing about Kalari, the reason you don't need to stack crit speed, the reason, I mean crit chance, my bad, attack speed or crit damage is because her attack, her basic attack, it stacks and it scales so well that your basic attack pretty much has a speed of 0.7 now there you saw me get red buff and come right back because i saw steel out of position so i'm gonna go ahead and kill steel and then push up after this now unfortunately my game crashed uh about 80 percent through this entire game I end up going 12, 1, and 11 after reconnecting, but this is pretty much like the second to last fight that you guys are going to witness of the game anyway, and it pretty much just demonstrates my point very well, very easily. There's another kill for me, 8, 1, and 8. So basically, the basis with Kalari is you want to stack her with damage, 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 physical damage, okay? You want to spend most of your time in the jungle. You only want to go out in a lane when you're ganking somebody, Preferably when somebody is in front of the enemy as well, so you're 2 v wanting somebody. And or when you're pushing up the lane to get an inhibitor or a tower and nobody is there. And I mean nobody is there because Kalari cannot deal with ranged. She cannot deal with other tankier people that try to kill her like Feng Mao or Grux. But she can deal with weak tanks such as Steel or Rampage that don't do much physical damage to her. Now right here you see me waiting out for the best opportunity to gank them, to flank them, to get behind them. Because that's what Kalari does. She's a sneaky little bitch and she's great at kill stealing. And if you're an asshole, then you love playing Kalari because that's what she does. And that's how she gets the majority of her kills. But that's why I love her because she's a flipping ninja, man. And you are about to see me hit two people with an ult and go through it. So that's about it, guys. 80% of your time in the jungle. Every time you recall, make sure you get the damage bonus in and everything like that hopefully you guys enjoyed this video if you did find it helpful please drop a like comment subscribe all that good good stuff i am trying to make this the most helpful and entertaining 
tips and tricks guide for Paragon Heroes that I possibly can while my cat tries to claw the shit out of my arm. And there my game crashes, unfortunately, but we come back and win it. Secure the victory 12, 1, and 11. Hopefully you guys enjoyed. If you did, please drop a like, comment, subscribe, all that good, good stuff. And as always, make sure you all have a wonderful day.